We are New Albany Floyd County Art Paraprofessionals, and, and we, we are, are moving forward. This month, our school's youngest artists are showcasing their work at the New Albany Floyd County Public Library for the Elementary Art Show. Well, this is the Floyd County tri Capital Art Show. We have this event every year in April. The kids' artwork is on display from April 4th to April 28th. There's 10 schools participating in it. We get together every year. We mat everything. We hang everything together. It's just a really fun event that the kids like to come to and we, we like to participate in. We study artists, so each month there's a different artist that we study, and the kids create art from those artists, such as Van Gogh, Paul Clay, Keith Haring. Once they've finished, we go through and pick our favorite pieces and put them on display. It makes them feel like they're a part of the community. They get to come and they get to see all the wonderful art that they've created and that the other students in the county have created. I think it's just a really neat experience for the kids. The high schools have also been busy preparing for their 44th annual secondary art show at Carnegie Center. It's been going on for 44 years um, and when it started out it was just the um, high school. Through the years we've included the middle school and now we um, have 5th grade through 12th grade as far as the competition. For the high school categories we have 10 different um, areas of interest. So painting, drawing, mixed media, fiber arts, um, graphic design or product design. The teachers jury their best work from across the year and the limitation is just set by space. So the kids get to hang in a professional space. We do a wonderful reception and a presentation for parents and have slides of the winning pieces, you know, blown up giant behind their heads on the stage when they come up for their award. So we work really hard to make it as professional as possible. For the last 18 years, the Art Awards Fund has rewarded the winners of each category with a cash prize. This year, students and teachers are hoping for even more recognition from the community. And when you win awards like this, it just makes you feel like you're not wasting your time. You've got something to give to the world. There are always these phenomenal pieces from people in my grade level and below. I think it's extremely important to support young artists, even if these kids aren't deciding that they want to pursue art as a career. It's something that really helps them build self-esteem. It gives them, I think, kind of like a, a power in um, building themselves. Just communicating, being able to communicate visually, I think that's a very important aspect as well. And I think that everybody should come out to see the show because they will be absolutely amazed at the level uh, and the quality of the work that is coming out of our public school system. Do you have a suggestion for a student spotlight or teacher feature? Know about something great happening at your school? Please let us know. We're always looking for story ideas. And for the latest news and information on our schools, teachers, and students, just visit our website. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at NAFC Success. We'll see you next week on Moving Forward.